feeling. Marami siyang sacrifices. Nag-aaral siya sa lega doon. Yung mga sacrifice ng little boy na gusto niya talagang maging chef. Hello, Mr. Basel. I'm um, episode this video, son. I hope you can help my husband, Chef Abdu. He is a kabayan also of yours. He is also a Syrian. I hope you can help him working on your restaurant because you are a kind and matulungin na tao. Yes, yes, hello. Do you hear me? Okay, so where do they live? Her husband is Syrian and she's Filipino, right? Okay, got it. Where do they live? Oh no! We just came from there. Yeah. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go there again. We'll try to look for flights and we're flying there as soon as possible. Alright, bye. So we're on the way mga tao to find their house. We got the address and the wife already contacted me. So we made a way. We made it possible to come here from our city, three hours drive in the car to go to their house. So I hope it's worth it. We're gonna be there in a bit. And then we'll try to ask the neighbors where their house is. Good morning, hello. Yeah, we are we are here in front of Choice uh, Choice Store. Oh, I forgot to bring my other shirt. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Hello, mga tao. Hello, mga tao. Hi, Hi. I'm always watching your vlog. This is Jin, the wife of Abdo, right? Yeah. Welcome so, to my house, sir. This is your house here. Yeah. Your house okay. is so far. far. You know what's the biggest problem? Wherever we go, there's no signal, so we cannot yeah. contact you. You ask me, where are you guys? Where are you? I don't know where we are. Because all my team, we don't know where we are. <laughs> there's so many Lumpia, right? Lumpia, Shanghai, Lumpia, Zamboanga. Is this the salty fish you told me? No. 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 When did you start building this house? Since when I am in in Saudi, sir. I am not married yet to Abu. Oh, you were not married, yes. and then you started building this yes. house. Yes, it's not finished yet. You're not Filipino if you don't use tabo. I already used tabo inside the toilet, now I use it for the olive. Okay, olive. Shut up. <laughs> tabo is only for butt? No, now it's for hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now in your shirt. <laughs> so mga tao, I am here after so many hours of traveling and of losing signal, of trying to ask people how to get here. It was very, very long journey and hard to get here. You know, you take aeroplano after that, you walk, then you take a car, a few hours to get here. But it was all worth it. And I am here with the uh, wife of Chef Abdo, who is gonna be working for me very soon. So, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so for coming. Even though napakalayo ang hinok, uh, ay salamat na Our struggle here is real kasi nobody speaks Tagalog. Right, Visaya? I only speak Tagalog and English. But I like the adventure because since my trip in here, I always say, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. So, that's how I feel every time we go to different location. It just gets more adventurous when we lose signal. Tell me about your story because you are a Filipino and you're married to a Syrian guy, right? Yeah, this is like kind of rare combination that doesn't exist too much just like me I'm Syrian I'm married to a Filipino so it doesn't happen a lot for you how did it happen? It happens when I work in Saudi Arabia Okay So I worked there for two years and then after that I transfer my working place reserve in the hotel on that time I met Chef Abdu, All right. who's also working here, and then we saw each other on that night that there is a party when I and Chef Abdu is also there on a catering, and then we say hi, hello, like that, and after that we get each other's number, and then the next day we texted and we saw on and so on. Oh, okay, so you guys met in the hotel, you were working at the same workplace? Yes. 
Okay, and that was what year? 11? Uh, yes, 2011. Okay, so two years before I fly to the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, I came here 2013, I was only 18 years old. Yeah, so that is amazing to learn stories like that. I'm getting emails from your husband asking me to help him. How did this start? Is he watching my channel? Is he following my channel? Or are you the one who introduced me to him? Or what's going on? Actually, sir, I am a big follower of yours. Okay. Because I in you inspired us, most of your viewers, on what helping people without any in exchange. Yeah. When Jeff Abdu came here, I told him that, Jeff, this is your kabayan. So why do you want to try to work with him? I feel pity because we have no family. His father died when he is a young boy. He told me all the story. In fact, wala siyang mama, wala siyang papa. Then he's living on his sister. Marami siyang sacrifices. Nagaaral siya sa Lebanon. Yung mga sacrifices ng little boy na gusto niya talagang maging chef, tinulog talaga niya. Nag-ano siya, nag-sacrifices talaga siya. So sir, Chef, I'm this very good guy. Napakasip ko siya. I can see that, yeah. You sometimes people ask, well, you met the foreigner, so you become rich, you become like this. But no, I told them that Filipino and a, and a foreigner, it's not the same. Lalo na sabi ko, pagtarabo kasi yung culture difference nila. At sabi ko, most of my friends, they are marrying Egyptian, Lebanon, Jordanian, but dun lang, dun lang sa place na yun. Saudi. But then when you came home, you came back to your country, when you have a kids, wala na. No, because most people sometimes they think that if you're marrying a foreigner, automatic, it's a rich or yes. something. Mm -hmm. They don't know in every country there's poor foreigners, there's, they have this misunderstanding or concept of marrying a foreigner. It's not always like that. It's sometimes, you know, about loving each other and all this. Yes, yun lang talaga yung naaano ako sa kanilang nang nagustuhan ko. Hardworking and all. Hardworking siya, hindi niya, may pinapagayaan. Yeah. He'll never let you down, even if na pipilitin talaga niya na makakaya niya na magkakaroon talaga ng ganyan. You told him to contact me through email? Yes. I saw his emails asking, uh, to be hired. So we had to cut the interview because she was emotional. Now we're just waiting for her to wipe her tears and all and then come back. These kind of people asking me help and it's like it's like I really have to help her husband and hire him and make this family come back all together again. Her husband works in Saudi which is so far from here. That's why he's far from his kids, his family and all. Uh, I read the email. I am from Syria. Uh, I am married to a Filipina. Uh, my wife and kids are in the Philippines. Please help me to hire me. I can do anything. I am a good chef. I have very good experience. Honestly, I get a lot of emails like that. But determination in the emails, it's like the same email keeps sending, sending, sending. I read my stuff or the admin when they read the email. They keep seeing the same email going from that same person so many times. So they told me, sir, you know, we have this person. He keeps on sending you emails and he's asking help. So I took a look and then we told him that we'll get back to him. So you introduced him to me. Yeah? Okay. The last email that we talked about is that he will come to the Philippines for interview. He will come here in the Philippines for me to be able to interview him. And if he will pass the interview, he will work with me. And if he will work with me, he will be near you guys because at least you can see him more often, right? Not like if he's in Saudi, it's gonna be hard for you to see each other. I think, I feel that he has some difficulties in Saudi, like in his work. That's why he wants to transfer me. I came here for many reasons. First, I like to verify the people that I help. Because some people, they ask us help, but it's not legit sometimes. The reason why we came here, because I want to see for myself that everything is real. You guys are real, Chef Abdul is real, the kids, everything is real. Oh, because we like to help deserving people. I hope that I'll be the way that you guys will meet together all again and be together. I want to be the, the bridge or the way. I will do my best to meet Chef Abdo for interview. Interview him and see his credentials. And after that, I will contact you again. And we will fly you guys from here to Manila. 
if Chef Abdo would be coming to the Philippines. How many kids do you have? With Chef Abdo, I have two kids. What's your name? My name is Khalid Abdo Ejibrahim. And you are? My name is Omar Ejibrahim. You're Umar, right? How old are you, Umar? Seven. Seven. You're eight. Wow, Omar, he looks like Chef Abdu, yes. like a copy paste of Chef Abdu, right? Yes. He, he looks like you yes. and then he looks like Chef Abdu. Yes. He speaks Syrian? Marhaba. He speaks Syrian? No, they just listen, they don't speak because they speak always in English. Yeah, so you speak English and Visaya? Visaya. Uh, Tagalog, no? Yes. Tagalog. Marunong Tagalog. Ah, sige, sige, kausap tayo. Tagalo. Kamusta? Ayos? Mabuti! <laughs> when was the last time you saw your Baba? Long time ago. Do you miss Baba? You want to see him soon? How about you? You want to see Baba soon? Are you happy when Baba is here or when Baba is not here? Baba is here. Why? What do you do? You play together like that? Do you go to school? You're doing good? Studying good? He is the uh, top one in his class. Top one? Yes. Nice. Nice one. And you? Top two? No. Top <laughs> ten. Oh, top ten. He's oh. out of the top. He's very naughty, sir. Yeah. The teacher always calling me. You're Omar always like this. Oh, yeah? He's very naughty. You want to be? What do you want to be when you grow up, Omar? It's like Omar is gulat from me. It's like he's saying, Who, who's that guy who looks like Baba? <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Soldier. Soldier. And then you'll fight in Syria because there's always Gera. <laughs> How about you, Omar? What do you want to be? Gulat, sir. I, I'm, I'm scared from Omar. He, he's staring at me like that since earlier. It's like he wants to beat me no, up. When you arrive there, he said, that's my Baba brother. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I told him, yes, it's your Baba brother. Yeah. So, I'm very, very happy to see you, Omar and Khaled. Are you happy to see me? Yes? He's <laughs> very good. Yeah, he's very good. At. So, nice to meet you. Oh, I can see you're, you're naughty. You're naughty, no? You're naughty in school, no? <laughs> you're scaring the kids. <laughs> so, during the pandemic, uh, how did you guys communicate with each other? You and Chef Abdo? You being in the Philippines and Chef Abdo being in Saudi, how did you guys work it out? Actually, so during the pandemic, it's very, very hard because I don't have a work. I live alone in the house. I help my kids and all the house workers. Then during the pandemic, Abdo don't have work because uh, all the establishment is walang trabaho, stop lahat. What I do is, inaano ko talaga yung budget, binabudget ko talaga yung pera na pinapagala niya for the whole month. Kasi hindi ko alam kung saan ako kukuha kasi wala akong trabaho. Wala akong maano sa mga bata na nag-aaral sila. Kasi kahit na nag nandito lang sila sa bayan nag-aaral ng mga size, kailangan ko din magdala ng mga papers sa school. Ang school naman nila is malayo. So, kailangan ko talaga maghanap ng paraan. So, I do is mag-cooping ako ng mga food and I sell it. So you try to find a way to work out things. Yes. You just learn how to cook yes. so you can make a way. Yes. Good. I'm not technical, but I'm trying my best to provide. To help your children. Yes. That is very inspiring. So that was the struggle in that relationship. And do you think I would be a way to help lessen the struggles in case Chef Abdo would be working here in the Philippines? I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because I saw it on the black light on all your viewers and all of my neighbors here knows you already. They will give you food and they will help you. So I think so, because It depends na lang sa kanila sir kasi if they believe like that hindi naman natin sila masisisi sir kasi hindi naman nila nakita nasa nasa video kung talagang naniniwala ka sa isang tao tumutulong siya nasa ano lang yan sir nasa face lang siya ang dami ba namang natutulungan imposible na ho nag We help a lot of people since long time and we believe in good karma that's yes. why we keep we There's keep karma, extending yes. our our help what do we call a Syrian Filipino family what should we name them Filipino American American is Fila, right? Yes. Okay. What should we name Syrian Filipino family? Sirfino. 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 <laughs> I want to make the family Sirfino again. Okay. Sirfino. I want 
to put you guys together. Uh, we will do our way. We will work it out. We will try to coordinate with your husband to come here in the Philippines, meet all together, sit down and talk and listen to him, to his story. And so is that good to you? Yes. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be not only good to you, but to Omar excited, and Khaled sir. also. I'm very excited because matagal na siya sa labas kaya na excited ako. Yeah, of course your kids will also be happy, right? Yes. I'm very excited and I can't wait. We will keep you updated, we will keep you posted, and we will text you, call you, tell you what to do next and where to meet us. Are you ready? Very ready and very excited. All right. So the kids. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. What up, my Mineral, mineral. This is my duck. This is my cat. Hello. Hello. So we're leaving now, and we'll be back with good news, and then. I want to give you something just to buy some things for your. Mas <laughs> very sabi. Malaking ano na yan, sir. It's okay. Yun lang sa akin yung matulungan mo sa na si Sir Alfie. Yes, we will we will do our best to help Chef Alfie. But this is only a gift for the kids from me. So please buy them something, a salubong or something. Okay, please take it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. We really wanted to come because I told you like the story is so, I mean, touching. That's why we wanted to come here and to visit you also and to see the kids. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, very nice to nice meet you. Thank you. Bye bye, bye, -bye Mama. If you want to be featured next on our video and share your story, click subscribe and comment down below why should we choose you.